Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at three helpful Gmail settings or Google Apps mail settings for students and teachers. First of all, let's start with the newest feature to be added to all Gmail users, and that's the option to enable undo sending of messages. So let you set up a grace period of up to 30 seconds to say, oh no, I didn't mean to hit send and unsend the message. Whether you forgot to add something to the message or you just decided you want to phrase something differently, you now have a 30 second grace period for doing that. And then you go down to the bottom of the page and save those changes. Now to get back into that setting, we'll go into the settings over here. We'll get to that general tab again and look at another setting. And that's the reply versus reply all default behavior. You can see that right here. I have mine set to reply only to the sender of a message so that I don't accidentally reply all when I don't really need to send a reply to everybody on a, on a list. And I think it's important to teach students when, it, when they should reply all and when they should reply only to the sender. And most of the time they should reply only to the sender, not to everyone on a message. And finally, let's look at how to use your Gmail or Google Apps Mail offline. So let's go to the offline tab here. And you can see I already have this installed. If you don't have offline Gmail installed, you'll see a link that says install Gmail offline. And it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can then find Gmail offline. And if you visit the website or you install it, it's going to take you to this page. And here's all of my email right now in my personal Gmail account. And I can switch it to one of my other accounts. And that will let me view my email offline and reply to messages offline and compose new messages offline. And you can find that by going to the Chrome Web Store and looking for Gmail offline. Again, that works in the Chrome web browser. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.